Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to Third Eye Music and Video. There's also a comic store and a game store that's all part of the same thing. We're gonna show it all today. Uh, grand opening today of that store, so I'm excited. Parking lot's full. We had to park down the road back there, but I'm excited to see this. Walking up and there's already a good sized line here of fellow people excited for the new store. All right, waiting in a long line, but the uh, line is moving now. It's now time they're open. Uh, not sure how many people will fit in the store at once, but uh, I'm excited here. It's moving pretty good. One of the cool things with Third Eye there is the murals that they put. We got movies, records, books. Oh my, this place is really cool with the artwork. All right, we're walking in. Uh, this place is gonna be packed. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, it's you know, it's not too 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 bad packed. It's a big store. Okay, we're inside. Uh, we're gonna show you all around. But what's your initial thought walking in? It's a big store. It's a big store. There's a lot in here. Oh my God, the movie section's pretty cool. So we'll start off here. Look at that creep show. That is amazing. That is so cool. But right here in the front, we've got tons of collectibles of all different types. This zombie bust, sick looking. Look at these universal monsters. This is very, very cool. House by the Cemetery, a statue. I am really digging the collectibles. And then down low, we've got Chucky. Look at that. Oh, I love Twilight Zone. I want one of these so bad. Here's something pretty amazing. Look at the masks. Look at the mask selection. That is so freaking awesome. And now movies themselves, the actual physical media, it's going to wrap. We have here, it's going to wrap all the way around there. We've got this area. We've got over there has more physical media. We've got Fangoria's there. This place also has a lot of books. I highly recommend this book. I have the Ad Nauseums, they are very cool. And even over here at Astra, also great. These are classic newspaper clippings of movies from uh, Showtime's, very, very cool books. We've got a bunch of NECA going right down here, right down the side. Lots of very cool NECA. And in with the physical media itself, we're, we're having, you know, Boutique labels like Scream Factory is there. There's some more Scream Factory. We've got Vinegar Syndrome in here. We've got Blue Underground in here. There is pretty much, it looks like all of the major, especially uh, horror boutique labels. We've even got Vinegar Syndromes with slips and slip boxes. There is a lot here. Deep Red with the 4K. I want to do, pick, I want to pick that one up because I'm hearing that that's actually pretty good even though I'm not a Giallo expert at all they've got criterion mixed in here with arsenic and old lace fantastic fantastic movie and being opening day everything is 20 percent off which is a pretty darn good price so i'm gonna see what i find in here april showing me to film noir sets i i have to i have to get all of these i have got like seven of them and there's like 20. oh this one's kind of cool it's the rudy ray moore box set from vinegar that's a pretty cool one to run across in here i don't know what this movie is but that slipcover is actually pretty cool we've got partner labels here there's agfa so there's looks like vinegar syndrome is heavily supported in here along with partner labels they got arrow video of course i mean you can't have a bunch of horror and not have arrow video got some transformers in here I'm gonna try to see what kind of steel books i can find around but Got Tragedy Girls, that's pretty cool. There's really good stuff in here. And again, the collectible game is, is on point. Look at all the collectibles up here, going right across. Oh, even running across some Indicator. Indicator in here is pretty cool. This is one of their 4K releases. Uh, that, that's pretty sick. My Bloody Valentine, nice steel book. Vinegar Syndrome wise, this was a really good one. I hope to see Vinegar Syndrome restoring more classics like they did with this. That's a good one to pick up though. I already have it, but cool for someone else. Oh, Night of the Hunter. What a phenomenal movie that is. We've got Golden Era. This is without the slip. Fun documentary. I enjoyed that quite a bit. We've got more Criterion here with the small axe box set next to more Scream Factory. Guys, there's a lot. We've got, like I said, there's, there's another steel book. So we got steel books mixed around. We've got lots of vinegar syndrome, lots of scream, 
We've got aero video down here with Waterworld. Aero video is kind of all around. Uh, the Pinocchio release, which I do want to pick that up at some point. We've got a little section of anime going on right here, going all the way down. And that's the end of some of the, well, a lot of horror, basically a lot of horror, which is very cool. Oh, uh, with the slipcover, pretending I'm Superman, the amount of hours I put into Tony Hawk is unreal. So yeah, on this end cap here, we've got documentary stuff over here, which uh, April's right next to. We've got VHS tapes, lots and lots of, v well, I sh shouldn't say lots and lots, but it's an area that they're definitely gonna expand. We got Total Recall, we got Mask, got Merlin, it's cool stuff. So April's gonna work her way through. This is DVDs, and there's some TV season stuff mixed in here. We've got California Cation, uh, Boondock Saints Steelbook right here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, that's awesome. We got a bunch of horror soundtracks right here for vinyl. I always love Carpenter. These Lost Themes, they're such good albums. I can't tell you how many hours I've listened to those. Ooh, Demons, that's actually a pretty sick score. That's a really cool movie. Oh, and over here, we're gonna have more of the used, but this is actually going to be a lot of Blu-ray on this side. Looks like Blu-ray no 4K, I'm not sure, but there's stuff with slip covers. We've got the lenticular Ash vs. Evil Dead. We've got the Changeling. All right, April's gonna work her way looking through there, see what we find. Okay, so we all know I'm a big poster guy. Look at this. They've got posters in here. These are not originals. These are reprints. Reprints, obviously. But still doesn't change how amazing that artwork is, though. That is awesome. We've got some Scarface there. What else do we got? Uh, there's some, some pretty cool ones. I, I would most if I was going to lean... Oh, Night of Living Dead, that's pretty cool. That's cool. But, yeah, I'd probably get some classic Universal Monsters. We've even got Chia Pets. <laughs> Chia Alf. CHH needs a uh, Chia Pet Alf. <laughs> so to walk around the store a little bit more, we've got all different types of things around here. We've got records galore. We go into books. We've got tons of books, tons of occult books, all different types. <laughs> like, look at some of this stuff. That stuff's pretty cool. Pretty cool little unique trinkety collectibles. And then again, books, 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 books. There is... There is no shortage of books. We've got April right here looking around, seeing what she can find. <laughs> Over here, we've got scented candles and stuff. We've got more books. The books keep continuing on and on and on. We've got little like end cap areas filled with books. Uh, a lot of music related books all around here. Or even music and film. Okay. Well, I saw Nirvana, so I wasn't... Oh, music and film. Yes, I see it up there. See, that's why you're so smart, April. <laughs> but uh, yeah, lots of music and film books going all around. We got occult books, notebooks. One of the biggest things, though, is this is the music area. Look at the wall of shirts going around there. And then we've just got tons and tons of records. People are, people are all over shopping records here. This is probably the main selling point of here. If you're a music fan, there is loads and loads of records all different types of stuff Ooh, i'm curious stuff that i might have in here because i actually listen to i mean we have cedar but this is the type of stuff i listen to pretty heavily that's kind of cool all different types of stuff and the records are also 20 percent off going down here we got my friends here which what did they grab so far what do you got jess what do you got well, let's see flip this around all right, that's a really sick looking, uh, what is that, a plastic cover sleeve? That's cool, that's cool. There's some pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, putting down some Tom Morello. Oh, that's sick, that's sick. There's actually skateboards. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. I, I grew up heavy, heavy into skateboarding. Uh, I love that, that is awesome looking. Oh, how about this? This is something that my wife used to listen to heavily. Uh, I didn't even know that was on vinyl. Look at the checkout line going on. There's a lot. There's all types of candy going along right near the uh, the records, the boatloads of records. So much crazy candy stuff, too. Like, look at these things. There's, there is all types of stuff. We got 
nuclear toxic waste or whatever. There's all types of crazy candies in here. Oh, April Fine and some Backstreet Boys. End caps here have some Super 7 figures. That's pretty cool. Super 7 makes some neat stuff. There's some pretty cool TV shirts and movie shirts mixed in here. I didn't realize that. There's They Live in there. Ooh, I might be getting a shirt. This is a shirt I might grab. The Amityville Horror doesn't get near as much love as it should, especially when it comes to, like merchandise. There is a double X shirt in here. That's my size. I might get that. But I also love Escape from New York. Ooh, tempting. Oh, look at this. This is all soundtracks in here. Wow, soundtracks on vinyl. I love that stuff. Lots and lots of vinyl box sets as well. Very cool. Look at this amazing lenticular slip. That is really freaking cool for Blue Underground. Oh, oh April Fun Undeclared for $2.99. That is a really good show, and we don't really run across Undeclared much. Oh, very cool. There's, there is Radiance in here, too. There's Radiance Films. I only have one Radiance title at the moment. Uh, I keep hearing how amazing they all are. Look, look at all of the Fangorias in here. Ooh, April. Oh, a hundred dollars right there. Oh, but that is so cool. Here's a set I've heard nothing but absolutely fantastic stuff on. This Lost Picture Show set that is very awesome looking in person. That's a cool set. $89.99 is pretty good. Ooh, we got some used arrow in here. I don't even know what that one is. What would the price be on that? Some good TV stuff in here. We got Twin Peaks there. We've got Transformers. We have some Viva La Bam. I watched so much of that when I was younger. And then look at this. April, show, show that. Got some good old classic Ren and Stimpy uncut. This end cap is supposed to be a little bit of the more out of print, I guess, harder to find. That's a good price though. 20 bucks on the box set for Cat and Nine Tails. That's, uh, that's a really solid price. And these import ones, I have the Dawn of the Dead release like this, but there's Tenembrae. Pretty cool. The Dawn of the Dead one's like super rare, but uh, yeah, the, I, I dig those. And we got some some Candyman here with uh, the, this. No, that's not the Steelbook, but uh, still super nice artwork. All right, April, we have a handful of stuff so far. I got right here. Uh, what do you think about the store? I love it. It's cool, right? Closer. Yeah, it's overwhelming. There's a lot in here, but we got to find our friends. They're somewhere in the mix of like 100 people looking at records still. And then we still have two more stores that this, this place owns. Uh, worth. Yeah, we're going to be checking those out too. They've also got a bunch of CDs, a uh, decent CD selection considering CDs are not bought as much anymore. My friend Warren is really digging in there. There is just, like I said, look at the aisles. Look. You got multiple aisles that go down, just absolutely jam-packed with records, uh, top to bottom, awesome. That is everything in the brand new store. Uh, that was awesome. But next up, we're gonna be hitting up, same building, same company, that we're gonna be hitting up comics. Again, really cool mural artwork here. Oops, thanks. And in we go, this place is one of the largest comic shops, uh, or proof, this coast, really. There is just so much here when it comes to comics. And granted, I know a lot of people that follow me might not necessarily be comic book fans, but it's just kind of comics and pop culture in general. It's a very cool store, and it's connected right next door to the other one. You guys know I love my collectibles and all that stuff, and we've got some cool ones here. We've got some Star Wars going across. Look at this Spider-Man one. That is absolutely crazy. That 3D effect, I love that. But yeah, we've got tons in these Detoffs just filled with all different types of collectibles. Gargoyles? That's amazing. I would love to have that at home. We got a Darth Vader bust. We've got Hawkeye down there. We go down, we've got some Umbrella Academy. There's a lot in here, a lot of really cool collectibles. Some, we got some anime collectibles here, and then we wrap around to the other side. Ooh, look at that. We got Godzilla. There's gargoyles again. Very, very cool. Oh, 
That's amazing. That's the Sideshow Collectibles piece. I have one by another company that is a lot like this one, but I love that one. <laughs> that Green Ranger, that is so awesome looking. Detail is super nice. That is a great bust. And the collectibles are kind of all over the place. You got these uh, brick bears right up there. And then it's right above just tons of graphic novels. Keeping with collectibles though, we got Marvel Legends figures there. We got more figures going across over here. Lots of, we got Star Wars Black Series. Oh, these are awesome looking. Huck, you would probably love to see these things. A thousand for that one. Wolfman is 200. These are old, these are awesome. We got Frankenstein there, 250. There's the thing for 90. Oh, these are really cool. And we've got lots more vintage figures. We go across up top, there's lots more collectibles. And then again, but there's just a lot here. We've got some Bruce Lee. Oh, those are sick. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy, I love that. My gosh, there's so much pop culture awesomeness with collectibles here. Bruce Lee. There's Super 7 for uh, The Simpsons. I love the Super 7 stuff. They are so cool. Animaniacs, man, oh my God. And the collectible stuff keeps going. And keep in mind, this is the comic book shop. Look at this. Look at this. Again, this is the comic shop. Look at all that. No shortage of NECA in here. Look at all of the NECA. A lot of really cool stuff. Of course, lots of the comic book based ones. We got the last Ronin, but still we got Universal Monsters mixed with the turtles. We've got some large turtles there, but even over here, we've got Alien, we've got Predator. We've got Freddy from part two. I love that part two is starting to get a resurgence of sorts. And then we also have part three, which doesn't need a resurgence. People already kind of love part three, but that part too, that's that's pretty freaking awesome. I already have this set. It's so freaking nice. For 60 bucks, well worth it. And the collectibles just keep on going. We got all these Diamond Select Diorama statues. So many of them. Look at that Green Goblin. Wow. We got more of the Super 7 stuff, not inside those like deluxe boxes, but lots of Super 7. And if you like Funko Pop, look at all of the Funko Pop. Just goes straight down. We've got those Funko sodas. And then it's more, uh, more Funko Pop going straight down with, again, more collectibles all around. And then we have some more, more of the valuable books up, like the wall books. Well, I recognize the backside of that. That's the Scream statue that I already got in only like a couple weeks ago. And the line is big here as well. Not as big as the new store, but a lot of carryover between and just a really neat store. Look at up there, all of the replica swords and stuff they have. That's, that's something you don't really see all that often. Demon Slayer and Bleach, that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna end it here with, this is the new comics wall right there. This is where all the weekly brand new stuff is at. And that about sums up Third Eye Comics. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a short overview of the comic one, and then we're gonna check out the uh, board game store. And then we're done with this trip. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Hopefully if you're somewhat close to this area, you think it's worth the drive, because uh, I enjoyed it a lot. All right, next one and last one. So we were in the music and video. We had the comic store, which is way down there. We, went, we do want the backside, but now this is the game store we're gonna be walking into. April holding the door for me. Oh, how sweet. But yes, right away, this is all about board games. Okay, so this place, we've got, like I said, it's all board games. We've got Warhammer, all different types of stuff. There's war game, Warhammer, Warhammer gaming minis, all types of stuff in there. And then tons and tons of board games. Uh, kids games, adult games, Alien, The Fate of the Nostromo. That's pretty cool. This is a super common game to find, but an awesome one nonetheless. I really dig that one, highly recommended. You can find this at like Target and such, but it's 
I'd recommend getting this at a nice local place. It's an amazing game. And again, another aisle just filled with games. I mean, there's enough games that they have A to Z things up top. Just so many. We got Horizon. The video game also has a board game. I didn't even know that, but that's cool. Ooh, we used to play this one together. This one was this one was pretty cool, Dead of Winter. I enjoyed that. There's a lot, and then look how deep the store goes. There's still a lot in this store as well. And we got another aisle of board games, and then we got yet again more board games. I'm a little less familiar with this stuff, so it's harder to call things out, but look at all of the magic. Lots of magic. We got protectors for cards. Look at these. We got puzzles here. Gotta love puzzles. There is a, so much here. Got a whole bunch of dice bags. We got a wall of Gundam. We've got scroll here. Look at all of this. We've got paints. We've got the figures to paint, which there is a ton going down that aisle. Look at all the cool figures and stuff that it goes with board games that I've never played before. A whole bunch of Star Wars ones. Look at all of this. Wow. Heaven for a Star Wars fan. So yeah, you can see a very similar aesthetic going through all these stores. They just specialize in different things. We're gonna pick up one thing inside this store and then uh, we'll end up showing you everything that we've picked up so far. I hope you've enjoyed all three stores. They're really cool. Uh, they all carry, they're one after another. They're all very similar to each other in the feel. They just specialize in different things. I had a lot of fun. Uh, next up is a concert tonight, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this, this little tour. And uh, yeah, stick around because next up is going to be what we picked up. Hello everyone, we're back in the car. It's time to go over what we got. I hope you guys enjoyed that whole trip through. Uh, we got some movies, some records. Movie-wise, in the used section, the complete Sartana. This is an Arrow video release. Five movies and a book. This thing was $5 because of that blue sticker. Five bucks. That is nothing. Then next up, I wanted to dive a little bit more into Radiance films. I'm also doing the top 25 of 1970s. So I picked up Red Sun, a 1970s German flick. I know nothing about this whatsoever, but uh, interesting nonetheless. I'm going to check it out. Radiance does cool stuff, though. People love Radiance. We also got Undeclared. What is this complete? Yeah, complete series. This thing was $2.99 for the complete series on DVD. And then I picked up this. Uh, this is actually, I didn't realize what it was. This is uh, Scream Queen, the documentary about Mark, Mark Patton, who did Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. I wanted to see this anyway, so I just, I didn't realize that that cool, like, cut through slip was actually for screen queen so yeah that's what we picked up for movies and now we're going to show records and now we'll make a quick run through of the records we got the best of papa roach this has songs that aren't even on vinyl other than this release so that's pretty cool and everything in the store by the way was 20 percent off on top of the price so pretty good we've got bleed from within and it's got cool like see-through plastic slip so that's cool we've got Shaman's Harvest. When I block my face, the camera doesn't know what to do. But yeah, we got Shaman's Harvest. We got Set It Off. We got Ashley Parker Angel, which is for April. This is also for April. Backstreet Boys, because she loves Backstreet Boys. And she's smiling. So yes, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, for tuning in. We got some other cool store tour stuff coming in, but yeah, it's uh, time to head to the hotel now. Like I said, I got a concert tonight, so I think we're going to head to the hotel, grab something to eat soon, and uh, yeah, so I will see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that mumbo-jumbo.